Are you familiar with the name King Salman or his $1.5 trillion empire? Today we are going to take a look at the luxurious lifestyle of the King of Saudi Arabia, Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Let's travel and glance at lavish lifestyle through this video. Before we begin, please like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any new releases. When it comes to wealth, different luxurious brands can afford a unique mansion and fly on their private jets, while there are those royals who have built palaces and fly on their private helicopters to their yachts. Every wealthy family has built their empire on huge platforms, and their counting of money certainly increases. But some such royal families are trillionaires, whom you can only find in Saudi. We could say a fortune family or the wealthiest family on earth, whose net worth is about $1.5 trillion. Privileged, prosperous, the king of Saudi Arabia, Muhammad Salman bin Abdulaziz, along with his empire and power worth as a whole. Muhammad bin Salman was born on 31 August 1985. The eldest son of then Prince Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud's third wife, Fada bin Falah bin Sultan. He was the most respectable in the royal family and one of among 45 sons. He lived and was brought up in Marobra, a palace of 32 rooms with an amazing courtyard. King Salman was not an ordinary person, so he went to the prince's school. As he grew older, he became provincial governor, which lasted 48 years. During this span of time, he converted a deserted land, Rehan, to a huge urban land with long towered buildings that represented malls and museums, along with well-developed business industries. He worked for several state bodies before being appointed as advisor to his father, who was serving as governor of Riyadh in 2009. Later on, he became deputy prime minister and defense minister, and a rise to power began in 2013 when he was named head of the Crown Prince's Court. And in January 2015, King Abdullah bin Abdul Aziz died, and Salman sat to the throne, appointing his son as Minister of Defense. One of Mohammed bin Salman's first acts in the post was to launch a military campaign in Yemen in March 2015, along with other Arab states. He controls part of the illustrious family's vast wealth, which is assessed at up to $1.5 trillion and incorporates Saudi Aramco, the most important organization on the planet. Ruler Mohammed is known for his extravagant spending. He has purchased a $500 million yacht with five-star hotels with proper stateroom which can occupy 40 people on board. Not only that, but a swimming pool with glass rooms and a soothing, luxurious spa. Interestingly, this yacht was rented by Bill Gates for $5 million. Furthermore, a $300 million French house and a $450 million Leonardo da Vinci painting. As indicated by one gauge, the Saudi illustrious family, which has around 15,000 individuals additionally. The royal wealth has been amassed over decades of oil revenue generated expansion and there are around 15,000 individuals from the Saudi royal family. However, most of the tremendous fortune is appropriated among 2,000 of them, as per CNBC, Consumer News and Business Channel. He spent many millions on super yachts, personal luxury planes, helicopters, French estates, and uncommon artworks. Furthermore, Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman was the secret purchaser of an extravagant French house and many secretive properties in London, as per revealing by the New York Times. He was all over on the headlines during 2015. He is building a giant resort close to Jeddah, with seven royal residences for the family, all built around a giant artificial lake looking like a blossom. Additionally, the house close to Versailles has a wine basement, a film, and a channel with koi, a sturgeon, and a submerged chamber. It costs 275 million euros, 320 million dollars, and Fortune magazine considered it the world's most costly house. King Salman's palaces are built on the huge ground with expensive carvings, marble floor, silk carpets, chandeliers, and not only that, every bathroom, every bowl, but even the trash is also made from silver. 
When Obama visited the king, he was presented with a solid gold tissue holder. Lavish and absolutely beautiful rooms are designed, along with deluxe pool and meditation rooms for relaxing were also seen in the palaces, along with a handful of ballrooms to entertain King Solomon. When we talk about the luxurious life of an Arab king, we always talk about their exotic collection of cars. The Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia also owns many luxurious cars. His car collection includes cars like the fastest car in the world, Bugatti Chiron. He has several luxurious BMWs that are modified even further to make it much more comfortable for the Crown Prince. And many modified Toyota Land Cruisers, and also a Ferrari and a Lamborghini. He also has multiple yachts, among which two are strictly reserved for his leisure. One of his expensive yachts was bought for $689 million. The yacht is so expensive that Bill Gates once rented it for $9 million per day. Being the seventh king of Saudi Arabia and being the 25th son, he is extremely concerned with humanitarianism. Mohammed bin Salman contributed by raising funds and provided huge sums to different sectors. Plus, under 10 Saudi billionaires were dropped in Forbes' annual list of the world's billionaires. Bin Salman's own words, I'm a rich person and not a poor person. I'm not Gandhi or Mandela. I'm a member of the ruling family that existed for hundreds of years before the founding of Saudi Arabia. That's what he said over his spending and personal life. But some of the hands were placed on businesses which might reflect their backgrounds, like they own the biggest arms importer in the world by spending tens of billions of dollars. Talking about the dark side of the royal family caused a huge impact as well. The reason being the oil refinery which created many hurdles for the family. imagine what he can do and how far he can take Saudi Arabia in the upcoming years. In the coming years, we might see Saudi Arabia as the richest country on this planet. Thank you for watching our video on King Salman's $1.5 trillion empire. If you like this video, press the like button to show us some admiration. It won't cost you anything. If you like our content and want to see more from us, press the beautiful subscribe button and press the bell icon over there so that you can get notified right away. We'll see you next time.